rationalizing the denominator. So first of all, what is a denominator? Well, when we have such expression 2 by 3, this is a numerator and the below number is a denominator. So what is the rationalization? What does it mean? It's a process. It's a way of converting a denominator with a square root term to an equivalent expression whose denominator is a rational number is called as rationalizing the denominator. So I'll put it with an example. That's the best way to learn anything, right? I have this particular expression with the root in the denominator. I can convert this to an expression like this, wherein there is no root in the denominator but the numerator. This is rationalizing the denominator. Okay, so this is equivalent. That is, these two are mathematically, in terms of value, their output is the same. They look different, yes. So this is an equivalent expression and this is a rationalized version. Okay, so rationalized what? Rationalizing the denominator. So next question is, I'll explain why they are equivalent. Why are they equivalent? And how do you rationalize something? I'll explain that also in time, but we'll try to understand they've uh, used the expression equivalent. What does it mean actually? Well, one by root 10. Let me take that. Uh, we have one divided by, okay, not that. One divided by root of 10 is 0 0.3162 approximately 0.3162 so let's take up root of 10 by 10 so using the calculator again root of 10 divided by 10 is 0 0.3162 again this is approximately equal to 0 0.3162 so in both this case we have the same output same number so these two are equivalent because their output is the same. So this set of expressions are equivalent. So this process of converting from this particular expression with a root in the denominator to one without root is your rationalization. And the expression you get finally will be an equivalent expression. Reason being when you solve it using a calculator, end of it you'll get the same answer. Okay. now. How do you rationalize something? So I would uh, begin with the smallest possible example. Okay, before that I have to tell you one big logic. It's with the help of with the help of one. Why one? Because One is a multiplicative identity. What does that mean? We can multiply one with anything and get back the same thing, right? One by root of 10. I can rewrite this as one by root of 10 into one. I can multiply any expression and get back the same thing. But what is the point of this? Well, the thing is, one can be written as 2 by 2, 21 by 21. It can be written as 141 by 141. It can be written as root of 10 by root of 10. Does it make sense? Because they end up cancelling each other and getting back 1. So in place of 1, I'm going to write root 10 by root 10. Why that? We'll see. So I picked up root 10 by root 10. How will this help? 1 into root 10 is root 10 while root 10 into root 10 is root 10 the whole square. Okay, how is that? a to the power of n into a to the power of m is a to the power of n plus m with this logic. So root 10 square will get cancelled and we have root of 10 by 10. This is the logic. So I was able to get an expression which is equivalent without the denominator having the root okay so this is your logic so a small note for people who 
you know get find of get uh, get confused with kind of get confused with uh, all of this so root of any number is something but a to the power of half so root of a the whole square is a to the power of half into 2 as per this formula okay so what happens 1 by 2 and 2 gets cancelled and we have a to the power of 1 so that's how we are able to cut root and square over here directly so you need not show this many steps you can just remember and make use of the right math so you will get not only such expression 1 by root 10 and all of that you'll get complicated expressions like uh, a bit complicated something like this so whenever you get any expressions like this all we have to do is instead of root 10 and by root 10 we will multiply with root of 5 plus 2 divided by root of 5 plus 2 why particularly this expression well we have root of 5 minus 2 in the denominator so we have to take the same set of numbers with a different sign in the middle so how will this help we get to use a minus b into a plus b which is a square minus b square formula okay so we if you have any kind of expression like um, you know root of 11 minus 5 divided by root of not 4 41 minus 3 all you have to do is forget about the numerator let it be there whatever is there in the denominator write that with a plus sign and then do this and you are done okay same expression with the different sign we get to make use of this particular formula and get the answer so don't worry uh, we will be doing a few examples with such kind of numbers expressions so the process of rationalization is as simple as this let me give one more example root of 11 minus root of 6 divided by root of 3 minus um, 10 all you have to do is root 3 plus 10 divided by root 3 plus 10 again your numerator can be anything like say only root 11 is there your or root 3 is itself is there it can be anything in the numerator look at the denominator put brackets get a same expression but change the sign and you get to use this particular expression and you get to solve the math and you are done so this is a process okay so again rationalization is getting an equivalent expression without root in the denominator this is the process of rationalization so please pause have a look at it and do copy it as well Please enroll to our program at chalkpleaseacademy.com wherein we will be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification calculation, uh, DIY projects, we will code with python, we will work with Arduino Uno, there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it. There are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We will have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.